Destruction at a million pounds a minute. 100 people had just moved into these brand new company premises when the building was destroyed by fire just three weeks ago. Basically everything went. Doesn't From a desk through to a machine. We lost the whole lot. Nothing survives. For Dea, as a logistics company, information is as important as the aircraft parts that they also make. But you can make more engines, you can't make more data. But could it be recovered in some way? So just how hot, how intense was the fire? Well, if you look inside the building, you can see that sort of beam, that girder there, that's actually an overhead crane. It's come crashing down and then melted. So what hope for the computers that were inside there? Well, in Tamworth, there's a company that can coax your data phoenix from the all-too-real ashes of your company. And there's more than heat and smoke to worry about. Uh, unfortunately, they were on the first floor. The fire was so intense that the girders of the building melted, and therefore the computers dropped from the first floor down to the ground floor, so they obviously took impact damage as well. They were then obviously affected by the foam from our friends in the fire brigade, um, and eventually they got to us. So despite the disc being deformed, dropped and drenched, bite by bite the data was dragged back from electronic oblivion. But how much could disc labs get back? Back in Derby, did they think any information could be recovered? To be blunt, no. In the end, all the data, 100% was recovered. 100 jobs were saved. When we told them we got all the data back, it was, you know, thanks a lot. They bought the guys a, a case of beer just to say thank you. If only they could do the same for buildings. David Gregory, BBC Minns Today, Derby.